Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Already, when we left off, uh, we had managed to make our way here by, uh, you know, murderous means to uh, try and save our lord from his imprisonment, more or less. And uh, really, that's about all we're trying to do. Uh, doesn't mean we're going to do a good job of it, but we're going to try. There we go. Managed to make it. So, platforming, that's a little more forgiving than I thought it would be. Um, platforming is not my strongest suit, but that is also an element of what we're doing, uh, in this game. They, uh, also help with, a higher amount of maneuverability than they do in the earlier Souls games, but still... Not the strongest suit uh, that I have, nor is FromSoft's, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've managed to uh, get the combat relatively down. I only died, I think, once to a guy that killed Pat like four times, so that's a good track record. <laughs> Let's see it plummet from here. Okay, so we shall continue onwards. Ah, there we go. I already managed to learn this before, so... Ooh, let's eavesdrop. You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat? Under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Mmm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Yes, it will be. And I've already eavesdropped on it, so uh, that check mark means I don't need to do it no more. What the fuck is that thing? I remember them freaking out about a thing under the bridge, but I don't remember... Don't remember what it was. What the fuck is... Th is this a little gremlin? Is this a goblin? Holy shit, it is a goblin. Okay. Well, it's dead now. Also, oh my god, it's gross. Oh my god, that ass. It's gross. Oh. Ugh, 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 eh, oh, God, eh, no, eh, gross, eh, 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 get away from it as fast as possible. Holy hell. Do I, do I have, oh, I can drop down. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, I was uh, wondering if the game was telling me to drop to my death. Alright, uh, more pellets, yay! I have one more pellet. Oh, boy. That's all I have. And I can only have three. So, uh, that's a wonderful thing to know. Alright, so. Downward we go. Isn't, isn't this where we started? Yeah, this is kind of where we started, isn't it? No, this has water in it. No, it isn't. It looks very close to where we started, but it's not. What the... the hell is this thing? can't get the camera to look at it properly. It's a four-armed... six-armed! Six-armed thingamajig. No idea what to think of that. Whoop. Can I grip? No, I can't. Okay. Figured I'd try. And failed. This appears to be the escape, the escape, the escape route. Call the divine air with the reed whistle, of course. There's the air. There's the boil. Of course, he slides down from what I tried to climb up. Wolf, you found it. I did. Now, let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To All think right. that this is the only way. To run from the fated bloodline is the only answer. Seems like it, unfortunately. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord. Oh, nothing. 
I was just reminiscing. Onward then. Alrighty. It's just me. It, it probably isn't just me. Uh, the English voice for the young lord sounds like a woman trying to do prepubescent boy. Um, it's un it's not uncommon, but it's very distinct. That sound um, makes sense considering they're the only ones that can get high enough to actually. What's the word I'm looking for? There's the Shatner-esque pause for you. Uh, reach it. Reach the pitch that usually is involved with that youth. But uh, it, it's almost glaringly obvious. Or maybe that's just because my ears are getting better. I don't know. Maybe. Could be a bit of both. Never know. All right. Time to head out. The young lord seems to know about, more about the wolf than he's letting on. And the wolf doesn't remember shit, which doesn't help. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. This is... This is an ominous thing. It may look pretty, but this is an ominous field we're standing in right now. You don't even have to know the history behind it to know that it's ominous as fuck. You don't even have to know the trailer to know it's ominous as fuck. The Divine Air. Yes. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. Genichiro. I... Let me handle it. Thank you. Leave this to me. I'm going to give you all a little hint. This doesn't end well. Doesn't end well for me. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. A little. Your sword's a little longer than mine. Just a little. I feel a little inadequate. <laughs> By comparison. Okay. You face Genichiro Asuna. Oh, jeez. Ow. Okay. Ow! Okay. Ow! I tried. I tried my damnedest, but I knew it was fated. This is where you lose the arm. It's a battle you're meant to lose. I tried my damnedest, though. I tried. I bet it's doable. I bet it's even doable. And then the game ends, and then it's like, that all you win. Has to offer. She had this the one. Yeah. Air will be coming with me. Uh huh. Oh, that's a, that's a face. Well, I'm just left here for dead. Woo. I just got bossed. <laughs> just got bossed. That has two meanings. Because that was a boss. Where the fuck am I right now? That is a shitty blanket, but I'm at least underneath a blanket. Look at the money put into that. Look at the money. What is this? Your new arm. Clearly. So you're awake. I am. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. Yeah, 
just yet is the key phrase there. Shinobi prosthetic. Hey, another achievement. Shinobi prosthetic. Acquired the Shinobi prosthetic. Wow, that seems kind of <laughs> superfluous to add, but all right. The uh, artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms, apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. So it's covered in shit, but it's still, you know, working. Yeah, that is... That is something, all right. A lot of levers and pulleys. I'm noticing. I'm noticing that the fingers are operated with ropes, but how are the ropes supposed to uh, respond to uh, my thought impulses? Maybe it's responding to the muscles, but how... <laughs> I'm overanalyzing it, okay? <laughs> I'm overanalyzing it because I want to know. But that doesn't mean doesn't mean I don't like it. It's cool. All right. What do you call yourself? Nothing. Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. All righty. I will. Uh, I kind of want to know about the left arm. My left arm? What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I've said too much. Go now. Alrighty. So, that explanation basically is saying that this arm used to be this guy's. Uh, as you can see, he doesn't really have another arm that's visible, so it's presumed that this arm came from him, and that it was altered slightly to fit uh, the wolf. Uh, that That's the naming convention for this one. Uh, all the FromSoft games have them. Uh, this one is known as the wolf, especially considering you don't have any other way to name him, or change him in any way, shape, or form like you do in other FromSoft games. He's known as the wolf. That's what you get. So, uh, the arm was altered slightly to fit the wolf. And it is also able to outfit a variety of shinobi tools that you're able to get, put onto it, and use at some point. Depends on when you find them. Uh... That pretty much covers all of it. And uh, sounds like the wolf is very quick on the uptake when it comes to uh, learning how to use it. So, explains how he quickly catches on to using it uh, during the later parts of the game. Okay, how I got here. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't That's weird. Let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. Well, I appreciate that at least. Sleep. <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. So However, you don't know. Your master yet lives. Oh. He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. The bloodline. What do you mean, the bloodline? Is there some special ability in his bloodline? Divine heir's blood. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. 
There is a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. So whatever's going on with the divine heir's bloodline and the power therein allows the wolf to come back to life, essentially, after death and, you know, continue to live in a way, shape, or form. See, that is more or less the game's explanation for your ability to come back after death. Um, for Bloodborne, it was, it's all a dream, and uh, you're waking up from it and then coming back to it and all of that. Um, for Dark Souls, it is, you're undead, you're going to come back whether you want to or not, and you will continue to do so until you hollow out, or even after you hollow out, you'll just be brainless at that point. You will have nothing whatsoever in your head. Uh, you will just be driven by your id rather than thoughts. So, uh, that is basically this game's in-game explanation for why you're able to come back. Something weird about the divine air that lets you continue to live in some way, shape, or form. And it's not just you. There are other things that will pop up that will be not entirely explained until you get later into the game, I'm assuming. I, I absolutely did not get anywhere close to that in the streams. Uh, like I said, the streamers that I was watching were having a very rough time of it. So, uh, on that one, I don't know. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. It'd be stupid if they didn't. Uh, and FromSoft is anything but stupid. So... You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. Really? There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Mm -hmm. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. Maybe. Huh. Off to a clearing out by the gate. Huh. And there's a thing here. On Sculptor's Idol Commune. Okay, over there. Four pellets! Yay! I now have two. Oh, I'm up to three now. I'm up to the maximum I can carry. Cool. Commune with the Sculptor's Idol. Sculptor's Idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a Sculptor's Idol will re completely... Replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems in storage will be added to your current inventory. With some exceptions, resting will also revive defeated enemies. So, this is essentially the Dark Souls bonfire. Uh, this is where you rest... Uh, get all of your shit together more or less and uh yeah that pretty much pretty much sums that up uh if you played dark souls game in any capacity you understand that the bonfire is where you replenish all your supplies uh apparently sometimes sit some of your supplies there and Depending on the game and the context, uh, you can transport to other bonfires, or in this place, sculptors, idols. So, uh, that pretty much sums it up. Okay. Prayer beads, memories, attack power, vitality, and unseen aid percentage. Okay. Some of these I understand, some of them I don't. Some of them will become obvious later. I'm not entirely sure how all of them work. Prayer beads and memories very much are a uh, mystery to me. Vitality and attack power seem a little more obvious. And those uh, 
things at the bottom left. I have no idea what that is. Let's rest. There we go. Cool. What is up here? Oh, you're a guy. What the? Oh! The right trigger controls whatever device is on the arm. Okay. Hi there, buddy. Mm. Never seen you before. Your name? <sighs> Why is everyone asking me that? Won't tell me. But yeah. you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Uh -huh. Or perhaps... Perhaps hmm. what? Sir, please heed my humble request. Face me in battle. What? Oh, okay, I guess I don't have a choice. Okay. All right. What? Um, didn't I? Didn't I just kill you? Still alive. What do you mean, damn? What do you mean, damn? Kind of cool. What? How are you? How? That swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. Thank you. Know you. Some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a rundown temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, a little. Why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your mission is. A warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. Well? I mean... Y that is an extremely valuable resource, but I'm sure that probably hurts. Are you sure about that, man? Are you sure? Because this probably hurts like a fucking motherfucker. I mean... All right. Very well. Right then. Let's go. They say swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. Um, that doesn't seem like a uh, very sane person's thinking there. But okay, sure, whatever. All right. Step dodge. Practice the basics of evasion. Oh, so this is how you can practice things, just in case you forget them or you feel a little rusty. And you don't want to risk dying multiple thousands of times. Sure, case, okay. I stand as your opponent. All right, cool. Step dodge. Step dodge allows one to avoid attacks. Dodging won't compromise enemy posture, but may help one avoid damage. Evade enemy attacks and attack and perform three death blows. Okay. So I press B when they attack. Okay. One death blow. Again. Let's do it. Oh, jeez. I did not expect a fucking lunge. Okay. All right. Even if you dodge out of the way, you can regain your death blow again. Ow! I also like that this doesn't cost me health at all. So step dodging is a thing that you can constantly do. So it is essentially the roll. Yes. Splendidly done. All right, good to know. Uh, deflecting, attacking. I've already done most of those. Step dodging was new. So uh, that is the Dark Souls roll. It's just dodge. Technically, it's more like Bloodborne in that point. It's more agility-based rather than, you know, rolling around. Have you noticed this temple attracts those with nowhere else to go? I certainly fit that description. Hmm. Hmm. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offering box from time to time. The offering Come box, back, you say? Come back, whatever you like. If you have techniques to try out... I'm at your disposal. 
Alright, good to know. Inspect offering box. Items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. Ah, when the box is illuminated, it means an item has found its way inside. Items can be obtained by inspecting the box and offering money. The box is currently empty. So I'd have to give up money to be able to get the thing that I lost. So, okay. Makes sense. Speaking of... Oh, hi there. I'll talk to you in a second. Right now, though. Ha ha! Knew it. Light coin purse. A purse filled with a small amount of sen. It can be used to acquire the sen inside. You don't say. Had a somewhat satisfying weight to it. The sen in this purse is not lost upon death. Oh, cool. So, a light coin purse. Okay, so that's just... I'm trying to understand it properly. The light coin purse is the money that you earn, the little uh, coinage over in the corner there. Well, that's a little higher up in the corner. You know what I mean? You, you see that little coin there? Um, that is something you can earn, and you will lose some of it upon death. The light coin purse allows you to open those up and get more of those coins. And you don't lose those coin purses upon death. So, essentially, if you find yourself running low on the coins, just pop those open. There you go. Alright, makes sense. It's kind of like the souls and... Uh, rather, the souls of uh, fallen whatsoever's or what have you's. And uh, the cold bloods, uh, I think, in Bloodborne. I'm, I'm a little looser on the terms for Bloodborne than I am with Souls. So, there we are. Uh, talk to you. You truly returned from the dead. The power uh -huh. of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. Dogen. However... My master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. Okay. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. Sounds good. Let's talk. I'd like to make a request. Uh -huh. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps it's a symptom. Hmm. Are you done? Yes, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. Eh, I, I'm sure there's been worse. So the white mark on his face, that's also kind of covering his hair a little bit. That's not his old age. Apparently that is possibly either a symptom or a symbol of the power that the divine heir possesses, I'm assuming. Again, like I said, probably a lot of it will be explained in the later game. Don't really know anything past certain points in the game. Um, I'm assuming that that is the case, because the kid couldn't have been that old when he was picked up by... Uh, uh, What's-his-face? Uh, while he was scavenging the battlefield. And he can't be that much older now. So, he's probably around his 20s-ish. And that is unlikely to be anything but something associated with the dragon's heritage and dragon's blood, what have you. So, uh, let's present the healing gourd. You made this gourd. Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro. But it seems he entrusted it to you. 
I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Yep. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding mm. new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. Can do. Uh, can we talk to her a little more? So, it's not a birthmark. Then, nope. that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps... It's a symptom. Okay, so she's oh. essentially repeating lines that we've heard before. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So, we are now here. We have now gotten a new arm because ours got uh, removed by the big bad boss. Um, we met this guy who is an undying person who we uh, are now buddies with enough that we can stab him with our sword as practice. It's a weird concept. And this lady who seems to know a little bit about what's going on, but not enough to really tell me what it is. Precisely. Mainly because it sounds like she's trying to piece it together herself. Also, I noticed these these little things here are similar to that one sculpture I saw outside the door for the escape route. I wonder if it's related. Probably is. Doesn't seem like it, they would just put it there on accident. So, uh, let's end the episode here for right now. We're slightly over time, but we're, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well for ourselves. So, Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to figure out what's going on in the game uh, a little more. Uh, mainly because this is my first hands-on experience with it. And uh, we've met a couple buddies. This undying guy who's letting us use him as target practice, for lack of a better phrase. This doctor lady who uh, apparently knows about how to keep us healthy with the healing gourd here. And the sculptor dude in there who uh, essentially gave us our new arm after we lost our original one from the big bad boss dude who cut it off in the uh, ominous field of flowery death that's usually used in Japanese media for you.